Hey folks, Ray from DCRainmaker.com here. Today I'm out running with a new Stride running power meter foot pod. Uh, so it's a small foot pod that goes in my shoe down there. There's actually a bunch of foot pods down there, but the one you're focused on today is the Stride one. What it does is it goes ahead and it measures everything from barometric altimeter to positioning my foot and attempts to calculate a power number based on that. So I'm out here running along at a pretty steady pace and I've got the power numbers overlaid onto the video there so you can see that. That's on the Verve Ultra 30, just paired to the foot pod as amp plus power. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a couple of intervals and show you how quickly it reacts. So here goes the first one. So we're moving along pretty quick right now. Go a long way around this, I guess. So you can see it's up to almost 400 watts. What we're going to do in a second is I'm going to stop and see how quickly it reacts. Here we go. In three, two, one. So just seeing how quickly you can see it already decreasing there and at zero watts. So pretty darn quick. I'm going to go and start jogging again. Just an easy jog. So you can see it's back up already, upper 200s, uh, close to 300 watts. So I found it was about roughly my Z2 running pace. So right now I'm breathing a little harder because I'm trying to talk at the same time as uh, run, but pace-wise things even out a little bit. Now for fun, what we'll do here is the same sprint, but now on pavement versus the dirt before. So here we go. So pushing 400 already. A little more power out of this, which is actually kind of opposite what I expect. But at the same time, my pace is also might be slightly faster too. Now we're slowing down the power. And again, I'm gonna stop. There we go. Decreasing pretty quick. That bottom number is power there. So pretty darn quick to respond. Now one of the things that's interesting about the new Strive Foot Pod compared to the existing one, the existing one was a heart rate chest strap. So a lot of folks didn't like that. Whereas this is this little foot pod right there. So the one called Run Scribe. It does uh, running analytics, kind of similar to Strive, but more in depth on uh, foot strike and motion and stuff like that. Your foot versus stride is really more about power and some of the running economy portions. So that's just a quick look at how that, that works. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and head on along the river here, finish up my run, and maybe do another video or two along the way. Okay, so here we are along the river, and I'm explaining a little more about stride now that I'm not breathing so hard. Um, first up is that it has both AMP Plus as well as Bluetooth Smart. So that's why you can see right here that it's connected to my watch. So I go to the tunnel, sorry about that, um, via AMP Plus. So Stride has created a Connect IQ data field, which is that bottom number right there, which connects to the sensor via AMP Plus and allows me to record the data and display it on Garmin Connect, just like you're seeing on the screen right there. It also has Bluetooth Smart, so it works with the Synto AMP that I've got along for the ride there um, because that supports running power as well. Uh, in fact, Sunto was the first one to do that well before Garmin did. In addition, it's storing everything on the foot pod also. So when I get home, I can sync via the uh, phone app and it'll go ahead and show me that data with my pace data, but no GPS data. And the reason is that the Stride itself doesn't have GPS, but it does have fairly sophisticated accelerometers in it, as well as a barometer. So I can go ahead and determine pace and even elevation, uh, gain and descent, but it can't show me a map of where I'm running. So that's why I paired it up to my Garmin here, so I can do that. Now, on the Garmin side, it supports anything that supports Connect IQ, so there's tons of watches out there. I use a 920XT simply because it was charged up and more importantly actually linked to my account, so I can go ahead and easily move those widgets on there. A lot of other watches they use for test aren't necessarily linked all the time. 
Now right now you're seeing the data overlaid on the video using Garmin's verb edit software. Uh, so that allows me to go ahead and show anything I'm recording on the verb itself, which is what I'm filming this with. Um, or I can even drag in files like this one here from the Garmin watch. In this case though, I paired up the verb straight to the stride power meter as well as straight to my heart rate chest strap here. Um, that way I can get to both heart rate data, pace uh, natively from the GPS and the verb, as well as the power data from the foot pod. Um, now, for the fun of it, I decided to use Garmin's HRM run strap. And the reason I did that is because I was curious to see the additional running dynamics metrics. Stride has very similar stuff, and so I wanted to see how, kind of how close they are. Um, normally I wouldn't necessarily wear this strap, but it just an easy way to see how these two metrics compare. Okay, so with that, let's do one more sprint here. It's a complete straightaway. So I'm gonna go ahead and kick it up and see how things look. Here we go, starting now. So about 420 watts. Okay, with that, I'm down to the last percent or two of battery. I already shut off once, so I'm going to end this here. Uh, thanks for watching. Go ahead and hit the like button down below as well as the subscribe button so you can stay tuned for all the latest sports technology goodness coming down the road. See you later.